It's Think Museum once again, and I'm in the beaches of Santa Cruz in California. I'm heading to Sacramento, which is the state capital of California. I'm running the best state capital buildings in the country, and I hope, yes, I hope that California has the best state capital building. And if you didn't check out the video on the state capital building of Utah in Salt Lake City last week, I'm going to leave the link down below so you can check it out. I'm here in Sacramento and in front of me is the state capitol building. It looks very beautiful. Well, there's been an increase of coronavirus cases here in the West Coast and the state governor is going to be announcing some measures to combat that. Hopefully they work out. Certain sectors of the state we are now uh, requiring, they close their indoor operations due to the spread of the virus. This applies to all counties that have been on what we refer to as the county monitoring list for at least three consecutive days. Uh, I put out a list a number of days ago. We talked about 11 counties being on that list, it increased to 15. Uh, a couple of days back, we referenced 19 counties that are on that list. We have specifically targeted our efforts to close indoor operations. And I want to reinforce this, indoor operations in restaurants, wineries and tasting rooms, movie theaters, family entertainment broadly defined uh, by guidelines that we have previously put out, zoos, museums and card rooms in this state. So that's downtown Sacramento. It's very green with a lot of trees, uh, some palm trees there. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And if this is your first time in this channel, please go ahead, ring that bell turn on your notification bell so you don't miss on my new releases. Well, this building was done in 1860 and completed in 1874, so it took them 14 good years to complete this. Uh, it's pretty majestic. Uh, it has a very, very big compound, and they have huge, huge trees here. Um, I'm really impressed with this state capitol building. Um, it's nicely done. I don't know what kind of material they use it, maybe marble. This are, the writings say that these are two historic gate posts that were removed in 1951 as part of the landscaping modernization of the capital grounds. So, mm, that's good to know. This is very impressive. Last week when I was in Salt Lake City checking out the state capital of Utah, I was all gung-ho thinking that it's the best. But now walking in the grounds of the state capital of California, I can f feel and tell that I'm reaching my inner zen just walking around here. They've really done a good job. Uh, they've really outshined, I think, other state capital buildings. And I like that they have represented it. Uh, if you look on top of that building, there's two flags, one for the state and one for the country. Uh, most all state capital buildings have to raise two flags. Um, the architecture, I think, is some European kind of architecture because I'm also seeing some either Roman or Greek mythological figurines on top there. But I think that most state capital buildings here in the U.S., they borrow a lot of European architecture in terms of developing or constructing the state capital buildings. And it's very aesthetic. It's very pleasing to the eye looking at it. And as you walk in these gardens, you can see that... Um, uh, the trees, they have really put the signage or attached the names of those trees, the botanical names, so that when you're walking around, you can tell which kind of tree you're looking at. I hope that the next state capital building I'll be visiting next week is going to outshine the state capital building of California. This is a great work they've done, and I hope that next week we'll see an even better state capital building. Please leave down your comments, give me some likes, and let me know which state capital building you think is the best. See you next week.